Hi, I'll give you an overview on adding content using Stripes along with some basics on managing Stripes. So I'll go ahead and scroll down to an area where I would like to add a content stripe and you would do that by clicking on the little blue plus icon. This will bring up the stripe modules. So I'll just go ahead and change the view here and you'll see that that just displayed all of those uh, banner uh, stripes in one nice preview window. So this will allow you to just quickly browse for available stripes. If you select the other option, it's going to give you much more detail for each stripe. So you'll see that we have lots of different stripe options to choose from. So for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and select a text block stripe. And this prompt that's coming up is just asking you if you want to apply the current style to this new stripe. So I went ahead and clicked yes. Now it's just a matter of um, editing the, the new stripe. So I'll go ahead and click edit to insert a new title. And I'll go ahead and show you how to replace the picture. So you would just left click and then upload your own picture. So I'll go ahead and replace the body text here. And you'll see that we offer lots of different formatting options, just like you would see with any editing tool like Word or what have you. So I'm going to go ahead and make this title a little bit larger. And then this blue gear option is the settings option for this stripe. And this manages the layout. So you'll see that you can change the layout. You can kind of experiment with this option. See that some of these don't uh, look very good. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and um, go with this option here. I'll move this window out of the way so you can see what types of effects it has. So you can experiment with these options as well. You'll see that that modified the text area We would suggest kind of minimizing these options because it could become a bit distracting if you have too many different animations, um, you know, if all your text areas are moving. So I would use this feature kind of sparingly. So with the image, um, you'll see that there's lots of different options to crop an image. It's set, This particular image is set to cover. Um, you can set it to contain, which you can make it smaller, move it around a bit. I'll go ahead and reset that back to cover. Thank you for watching this video. Please make sure to check out the rest of our movie tutorials. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. We would be happy to help you. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Make sure to check out the rest of our movie tutorials for additional how-tos.